Oh, okay. No, it's. Oh, we touched the curb. And. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge number three. Today, we're looking at roundabouts. So, timestamps will be below if you want to skip around. Um, so, today, we're looking at roundabouts. So this is not something that Autopilot is currently advertised as being able to do. Um, but Autopilot will do a lot of things once it's engaged. It's really hard for the system to actually bail on anything. It'll attempt to do whatever it can, but it might flash a warning or uh, turn off Autopilot if things get too dicey. Man, Rockstar, you should be paying me. So rules for today. So I really don't expect uh, Autopilot to be able to do this very well. So I'm gonna say if we can get three out of 10 successful roundabouts. I'm gonna call it a success, uh, but if the car can successfully enter the roundabout and then continue in any of the exits uh, the, in the correct way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that uh, one successful time, and if we get three out of 10 about, that'll be a success. Uh, so make sure you comment down below, also uh, whatever other challenges you wanna see. I've been getting a lot of good comments, um, suggestions of videos you guys wanna see, so I will get to those uh, as I can. And I'm happy everybody's enjoying my sunglasses. That's awesome, thank you for those comments. All right, approaching our first roundabout. Turning on autopilot, I'm gonna go 18 miles an hour. It's clear there are no cars. Nope, oh man, we were gonna go right into that curb. So, bailed on that one. This test is a little difficult with other cars around because uh, I can't uh, let the car kind of mess with anyone else. Okay, so we're on max speed of 18. We do have a nice little guide car here. going nice and slow no it was gonna go straight into that uh, kind of curb again so I don't know if maybe that middle part is a little too low and the car can't see it um, I mean that wouldn't be great right it needs to be able to see kind of any any stuff like that in the road if full self-driving is coming okay going for another pass here autopilot is on we'll reduce speed to the minimum I feel like it gives the car the best chance at that slower speed and then see now we got a truck coming in, so I have to stop. Ah, he turned. All right, we're gonna give this roundabout one more try. We have a few cars ahead, so that should help. All right, and then the only thing we're gonna have to look out for is that guy. No, every time it, it pulls towards the center. All right, let's go try a different one. Yeah, it's pretty strange. Every time you enter the, the roundabout, it was it, the wheel would turn like right towards the middle, like it wanted to run right into that little brick area. Whoa. Huh. Okay. Went right through those. Here's the next roundabout. Slowed down to 18. Okay, this one has more of a kind of gradual entrance. No other cars around. We can give this one a few tries. We're still following the truck. Nope. It just wants to hit that center every time. All right, we're coming in from a different side here on the second roundabout. Uh, if this one doesn't work, I'll probably try to find one with a higher middle section. So, no, it, it just can't do it. It keeps wanting to uh, turn into the center. It's really strange. I think as the car gets closer, um, it, it can't see that kind of raised part in the middle, and so it assumes that's uh, part of the drivable area. All right, so pretty much all fails so far. I've done about five or six tries. Um, I'm gonna move on to another roundabout up here that I know about, but I think it's pretty similar in style to the other two we just tried, uh, so I assume this one will not be working either. Uh, and then on a separate drive, I know of some roundabouts that are a different style, they're a little bigger, and I think the middle part is raised up more, um, so we'll try those. Okay, so we're approaching this same roundabout from a different angle. Um, it's a little more gradual, kind of slope off to the right, so I'm wondering if that can help us. So let's see. And, okay, we're still here, and no, the car was just gonna, I think, go right into that curb. It's hard because, you know, sometimes the car does correct those things, but I just don't want to wait that long. Pretty nice that the car can navigate through those plastic things. I don't know if it sees them or not, but it doesn't hit them. All right, coming up on a, whoa, my gosh. Okay, what the heck was that? That was like gonna send me in the other lane. Okay, canceling that, I guess. 
Okay, so we're heading up to a totally different roundabout up here. Um, I'll give these, um, you can see on the map there's actually three in a row. I'll try to give each of these one or two tries, um, and then I think that's going to be it. So there's a lot of traffic up here. Um, that can usually be good. It can help the car, you know, kind of give somebody to follow. Um, although before we saw that wasn't helping too much. Um, and it can give it more context, uh, kind of where to drive. So we'll see if any of these will work. Um, the curb in the middle of this roundabout is much higher up. Uh, before it was kind of barely raised in those other ones we were trying. So maybe we can make it through some of this. Again, a successful kind of going through a roundabout in this one is if it can enter the roundabout and exit the roundabout. I don't care which exit it wants to take. Okay, pretty good. Oh, it, uh, it came off. I had uh, too much grip on the wheel there. Let's try this next one. So max speed of 18. Uh, in my opinion, gives it the best chance of success. Okay, nobody coming. Nope, we're gonna hit the curb again. So another fail. Let's uh, try to turn around. Oh, I can, I can turn it on right there. Okay, nobody's here. Nope. Yeah, it's gonna just wants to kind of bump right into the curb there. So let's uh, turn around and just do those one more time and. I think this is going to be a failure today. All right, so another approach from the other direction. It's difficult because we can't have anyone in the circle. Um, I don't think the car will stop for them. Okay, so we're clear here. And, oh, okay. No, it's, it's, okay. So it turned off autopilot, but it did make it through. Um, that's, that's still a fail. I'm going to count that as a fail, but kind of made it through there. That was pretty interesting. Okay, here we go again. Nope, I'm going to go right into the curb. And here's the last chance. Wow, we almost had one there. That was that was pretty good. I don't know, that was kind of a success fail. It, it made it through, even though it did turn off autopilot on us. And last one. We're clear here. We're going through. Oh, we touched the curb. And, ha-ha, <laughs> one. We got one. Oh, now I'm going to be stuck in all this traffic. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so we got one out of all those tries. Uh, it kind of barely touched the curb there. Um, but that's that's pretty fun. So overall, that's a fail. Autopilot challenge number three is a fail. So again, Tesla does not advertise that uh, that autopilot can handle roundabouts, but it's uh, still fun to you know kind of test it out. So if you enjoyed this, hit like, leave a comment below. Let me know what challenges you want to see in the future, and I'll see you next time.